What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Drive to Thrive. So as you can see winter is officially here up in Canada and today I got my hot cocoa ready to go here to keep me warm and we'll be talking about canopy growth. Now the stock market's been bleeding here for the last week or so and there might be some good buying opportunities. Let me take a sip here. I've been looking for a bunch of different sectors that have been getting kicked down and beaten down and I think the cannabis sector is definitely one of them. As always, anything we talk about in this video is meant for entertainment purpose only. These are just my views. Don't take anything as any kind of advice and let's go over to the computer and let's see what the charts are telling us. Starting off on our a monthly chart here, let's kind of get the big picture. So seems like our top is somewhere around that $56. And this is on CGC, which is being traded on the New York Stock Exchange. You can also trade Canopy on the TSX and it's under the acronym OOWEED. But here, let's focus on uh, CGC for this video. So on a monthly chart, so we got a peak at about that $56 and we got this strong support level here around that $10. Now, as of today, the price is down at $9.99. So if you wanted to take a gamble on this stock and buy it at these levels, I think there's a really nice uh, risk to reward. I mean, if you did just like a short trade, you know, you could probably set your stop loss somewhere around like $8.50 and uh, looking to bounce up all the way up to $15 and then this 200 day moving average around 19. And if you're looking to hold this and a diamond hand this stock, then, you know, obviously you're looking to get in right here and sell out somewhere around that $56, which would give you a profit of about like 460%. So this is what I mean. This is why I like looking for these beaten down stocks now be prepared to hold on to the stock for possibly a year and maybe longer what i see as a catalyst for the marijuana or the cannabis industry is uh first of all mexico is getting really close to getting their legalization underway i know it got voted in over the summer so everything's in place it just they haven't actually officially legalized it here in canada cannabis has been legal for about three years now maybe even four and in the states i know there's been bills proposed by the Republicans to kind of get uh, cannabis decriminalized which would be a huge market opportunity so this is why I'm talking about cannabis because it might not be the most sexiest sector right now it's been beaten down and not a lot of people are showing it any love so great time to get in now let's start off on our daily here and see what's happening so like I said strong support here at about that ten dollars and this is where we are we'll see what happens next week if we keep selling off or if we do find support here I'd love to see us start bouncing off of here that'd be good however we are still beneath this 200 day moving average so still really bearish in the eyes of the 200 day moving average our MACD is also below the zero line so again bearish our stochastic however is in this oversold territory so that is pretty good now going over to our weekly our MACD here I saw that it crossed over and now it's literally like either trying to cross back down again which would signal again very bearish signal or we could possibly bounce off of here and get this to separate up which would be seen as a bullish move so kind of keep an eye out on this 200 day moving average and if you guys want to kind of follow along and you want to use trading view it's been one of my favorite platforms i've been using it for years now and it's absolutely free so check out the description and the link below this is where you can find it or just go to tradingview.com now on our uh, stochastic here on the weekly does seem like we're rotating down so again possibly could be more downside here and on our a monthly so this is where we started so we have this MACD here and this a bearish momentum and our stochastic here is in the oversold so overall more of a bearish tone to this stock than bullish tone but i mean sometimes you just got to take a risk and you got to take a gamble and maybe just do a little nibbles at this you know a little bit of uh like 200 500 thousand dollars whatever you're looking to get into and then build up that position in case this does 
does go lower. Now, looking at some of these uh, market analysts, so currently they do have a hold rating off here and a price target of $24. So that gives you about 142% of upside. I didn't see anything else interesting in here. The only other thing is this uh, institutional buyer. So it looks like there are more buyers than sellers. So again, for the long-term outlook, could be very positive and that's something we want to see. Going over to my options here. On my options, I started buying these Friday, January 20th, 2023 expiration. So leaps going out to next year here because again, I want to give it lots of time to do what's thing. And I bought in at about $5.40. Currently you can get in at $3.40. So I'm down about 37%. But again, this isn't all of the money I'm willing to put into this. It might be buying another contract here come Monday, Tuesday. We'll see uh, if this starts breaking down even lower or if we start finding that support. So uh, those are these kind of options here. Anything less than uh, a year out, I think you're maybe gambling on because again, usually this uh, marijuana sector goes up up in cycles and the cycles range uh, you could be down uh, let's see from November 2019 to about October 2019 there's not much happening right so you could see this being low for another eight to ten months so that's why I prefer going out to those uh, January 2023 but that is it for today guys if you enjoyed this video please smash that like button leave me a comment what do you think about the marijuana industry is it something you're looking to get into otherwise thank you so much and see you in another video cheers